for me as an artist, it's really difficult to decide exactly what I love because I love so many things. I love writing and illustrating children's books. I love painting. Um, I have acrylic paintings all around here, bright, vibrant, colorful paintings, flowers, surreal paintings that kind of show experiences or emotion. I'm working on one for an art show right now. It's vibrant colors of the rainbow. I started doing more of this sort of, could it be a flower? Is it the tail of a fish? Is it, or what is it? When I partook in a exhibit at the Center for the Arts and I picked George O'Keefe as my artist. And then this piece that I did in pottery is sort of an expression of that in clay. It has a lot of texture and color and it is really just a sculptural piece. The piece is really go well together. It gives you sort of a sense of the two-dimensional and the three-dimensional work with sort of the same concept or idea. I love doing mermaids. I have quite a large collection of mermaids that I've done over the past few years. Some of them are an individual, other ones are sort of a school of mermaids. Generally most of my artwork will have a focal point of some kind of light or circle in the middle and the mermaids are always sort of swimming in or out of that light. I love uh, three-dimensional art as well. This, this is my pottery and I love sculpting. I recently did a piece for the Center for the Arts for their art show and that piece uh, just amused me so much. I, I love doing those little dogs. I feel very fortunate to have a multimedia studio. I absolutely love teaching and sharing that with students, giving them the opportunity to explore all the different mediums. Having the gallery here and the classes, they really do go together well. Oftentimes when I'm teaching and we have a question of a style or a technique or a medium, I can come into the gallery with students and show them concrete examples. Uh, it could be something in a paint technique or an idea design or a, a pottery technique. I can definitely show students you know, how maybe the foot on a piece of pottery is done or the lip on a piece of pottery is done. Different styles that will give them an opportunity to grow and advance their own work. And it's very nice to have those pieces that are done by, by professionals right at our fingertips. I am visually impaired and I have been since birth, but art is such a huge part of my life. I, I don't know what I would do if, if I couldn't work on art pieces. And I've had people come to my studio who want to be able to enjoy the creative process and then others who have desired to come but haven't been able to. And until recently when I completed even my ADA restroom, now it's made it easier for everybody. I think it's really important to have a barrier-free studio because it allows me to provide a place where there is art for everyone. I've got a wheelchair accessible entrance in the rear of the building and although I find as an artist, you know, a, a tall table with a stool that's tall so it gives you the flexibility to get up and work or sit down while you're working or do both because most artists sort of move around their pieces. Uh, for somebody who is in a wheelchair or perhaps they're using a walker to get in here, they need to be able to sit at a lower table. And then I have adjustable stools for those who don't need uh, backing but would like to be able to set the stool just at the proper height. I want students to come in here and not be thinking about interrupting with other folks while they're working. I want them to have their own space to work and feel good about that. Like they're part of the class without you know feeling like they're in the way. I have uh, children's classes that meet three days out of the week after school and those are very open-ended and very educational and allow children to grow individually with what they want to do. I have adult pottery classes that meet Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday evenings. I do an adult pottery class on Wednesday mornings uh, from 10.30 to 12.30. And then I also do an adult painting class on Tuesday mornings. So there's a variety of classes and I'm willing to uh, put together something if you have something in mind as well.